Boulder, Colorado, one of the most picturesque locations in the world, let alone for college football, and you will see plenty of Buffaloes roaming here. What a game we have in store for you today. A Big 12 showdown, and the implications could last for the rest of the season. As we'll see, the Colorado Buffaloes taking on the Colorado Buffaloes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. He'll bring it out. It's Horn. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. On first down, here comes this offense. He'll start this drive firing. Throws to the wideout. That was an eyelash away from being picked off, and that is not the way to set the tone with a near pick on your opening drive. They'll line up for a second down play. To throw, it's Sanders. Going up top. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass. Locating the football. No P.I. Able to swat it away past incomplete. Fires the pass. Intercepted. Takes it the other way. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. That's kind of a double whammy for this offense because on their opening drive, not only did they turn it over with the interception, but they've now set their defense up in a really tough spot deep in their own end. First down here from the offense. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Got his man quickly. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. And the Buffaloes have moved it inside the 20. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out in the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him. Throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. And he'll finally make the tackle at the three-yard line. This running back just doesn't throw down easy. It's just difficult for defense to get him on the ground. Not overly huge, but if I'm an offensive coordinator, I'm going to continue to find ways to feature him. And just, hey, you know what? And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Buffalo! what makes this offense so hard to stop. When you've got an athletic quarterback, you've got to worry about him in the running game, and there on the option, he makes the right decision, keeping it, and it caps off the opening drive of the game with a TD. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. He'll bring it out. It's Horn. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's in. There's a live football. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. And he had an opportunity there to make something out of nothing, but things just got sideways, and the ball came free. Well, I just like the effort on defense, okay? They couldn't get to the quarterback initially in the pocket. He starts scrambling, and they don't quit. He saw all of the effort of everybody pursuing the QB, catching up to him, and then creating the fumble. Awesome job. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Fires to the wideout. And it's picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. What a big, game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players. 
players. They jump on the ball like they were the offensive guys. So aggressive, going and getting that pick, creating some big mojo for your team. He'll try to do it himself. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees... Oh, he gets downfield for the big catch. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And man, this guy is so rewarding as an offensive coordinator. When your play call perfectly counters the defense's call, and that's exactly what we saw there. That play targeted the coverage's biggest weak spot, and it led to it. And the quarterback runs out of time, and down he goes at the 38. Well, they tried the play fake, but it fooled absolutely nobody. And that's the problem with play-action pass, Reese, is that it takes time to develop. The quarterback's got to fake the handoff, and receivers generally are running routes further downfield. So the offensive... And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. The play-action fake. Let's it fly deep downfield. Oh, picked off. Looking for more room. And the interception was enough. The return made it even better as he gets it down to the 48-yard line. About the only good thing that happened for the offense on that play, at least it wasn't a pick six. What a return. Yeah, that didn't look good for the offense. You know all those big fellas, those old linemen, they're not going to be able to go make the play. So as the DB getting the interception, you know, if you can break that play and you can get past that level, it might, it might be to the house. It might be to the crib. Lucky that wasn't a pick six for an offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And a short gain on this run, and that will bring us to the end of the first. A third down play to open up this quarter. Back to throw, it's Sanders. Working that left side now. A nice job of awareness on defense there on that third down. You know, you're expecting the offense to throw the football, but it's not just going to be receivers or tight ends you got to worry about. you got to keep your eye on where that running back is. They knew exactly where he would be, and they were able to make the tackle set him up for it. Dumps it to the back. Got it past the marker. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the Buffaloes come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Leaves it with the back. At the 20, he's got space. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Bucks! And a huge run from the back for six. Man, it's nice to have a running back that can do that. That makes everything else easy on offense. Hey, hand it to that guy. He makes a big play. Yes, please. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finished it off with the 33-yard touchdown run. Coming out with it, it's Horn. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point in the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so I know offensively, I gotta put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the Oh man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride 
in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Gets rid of it. Quickly out to the tight end. And the warning, there he goes. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Touchdown, Colorado! A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happen if you're ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. And they did tack on the extra point. They are lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. Fielded in the end zone, it's Horn. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Boy, they've been caught in a buzzsaw here in the first half, but maybe a chance to carry some momentum into the break here. It all comes down to this drive right here, Reese. Obviously, this offense hasn't had everything go right for them in the first half, but here's an opportunity, David, to execute some plays, put some throws together, and generate some points. And you're right, Jesse, and this offense needs to start now. Like, we got to get some points on the board, create some momentum, and continue it because you've done yourself a significant hurt. Well, this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. Did everything he could to discard the tackler, but he was just able to get back to where he started. Does this head coach not believe in punting? Does he think punting's against the rules? Unloads to the wideout. And they gambled in their own end, and now they give up really good field position. Yeah, and I tell you, that takes some, some onions to go for it in your own territory like that. I mean, they're treating this like it's a video game. They don't even care. They don't worry about the outcome. No big deal. Caught in the backfield, it's Hayden. And that defensive penetration gave him no chance, and he is ridden out of bounds. And now on second down for this offense. Dropping back, it's Sanders. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. You know, it's difficult for QB sometimes when you're throwing to your running backs because they're not receivers. You really got to be perfect with the ball placement. You got to make that a catchable throw. A little bit too tough for the RB on that one. Throws to the wideout. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And they'll send out the kicker to try a field goal. And he'll try to knock it through from the right hash and 35 yards out. Just drives it between the uprights. And now the lead is extended. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final points of this first half. From back of the end zone, he'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. The incompletion brings up a second down. He's looking to throw. He's going up top. And it's incomplete after taking a shot on second down. They're scaring it third. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. 
His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. Well, there's something you don't see very often. The quarterback overthrowing that guy with his type of speed. There aren't a lot of dudes that have the arm talent to overthrow him, but somehow he just saw it happen right there. On fourth down, going to the air. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on down. Well, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. Looking for a man, it's Sanders. Flips it out in the flat. Slips one guy, and now he's loose. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Special deep shot for the end zone. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your in-field goal range. What do you do here? He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. So they get the late field goal right before the half and not much time after this kickoff for an answer. Fielded in the end zone. It's Horn. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Just enough time for one final play in this half. From the gun, running back gets to give. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. So that's going to do it here in the first half. Stay tuned for the halftime break. The Buffaloes will kick it away to crank up the second half. That might be overdoing it, keeping it away from the return man as the kickoff goes out of bounds. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The offense lining up for a first down play. He's looking to throw it. He wants to go deep. And he makes the catch at the 10. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, cover fast guys out of the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. That one did not go well. Tackled in the backfield for a loss of six. It's still third and goal. Back to pass, it's Sanders. Throws toward the end zone. And the ball is picked off. A veteran in this defense stayed locked in on his rules and made the interception. Offense set on first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Can't get him to the ground. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe he needed a few more chain links to move the stands. These are the ones in the stands where you get glued if it doesn't work. Why would you run the ball on second and long? You stink, O.C., or... You get the big applause, and you're like, yes, nice job. Keeping the manageable third down situation. Good call. So, tough spot to be in in second ball. Nice answer, nice run by the running back. And the Buffalo is getting set on first and ten. Going to take a shot at this DB. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. Nice job in coverage there. Offense trying to take a shot downfield. The defender able to tip that one up in the air and force it incomplete. 
Now the play fake. Fires to the wide out. Another interception. That's his fourth of the day. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. QBs have to understand, when I'm thrown against zones, I gotta manipulate guys in my eyes. I might have to look one direction to create an opening to throw that ball or zip that ball in. I gotta use touch. It's really hard when all eyes are on me, and you can tell the quarterback was not ready and did not make a good throw. Defense makes a stop, but the chains move, and it's first and goal from the end. Nice play design on that one. Make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to pass. It's Sanders. <laughs> And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. And the big tight end, a lot of times that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude, and you can tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free, and fourth down is coming up. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. It is good! And that'll add three more to a lead that is already way out of hand. They tacked that last score on just for good measure as they are getting oh so close to putting this one away. The kickoff is coming. He'll bring it out. It's Horn. I imagine he's going to get an earful on the sideline after bringing it out of the end zone and being knocked down at the 11. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, we should have ran a better route. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Buying some time. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Oh, he dropped it! Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. Offense making its way under the field to start the drive. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And it's picked off for the third time today. He'll try to take it back. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Buffalo! What a great play by the defense and paying it off with the interception return. What a play by this defense with the pick six. And how about the defender? Exactly what you're supposed to do. Breaks on the football, makes the interception. Everybody on defense, we turn to offense, go lay some blocks so my guy can get it and take it back to the house. And they pick up the extra point kicker and I right down the middle. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it out. It's Horn. Pulled down at the 18, and the decision to bring it out of the end zone is not a good one. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. Off the play fake on first down. The throw. And the heat was all over him, and that's the way the third quarter will wrap up with a big sack. This is cool. Colorado, 30. Colorado, 7. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. To the air, it's Sanders. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. Bring in the heat. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30 plus. And another big play by this offense. And if they are playing, not thinking about the 
scoreboard at all, there's evidence of it right there. Hey, if there's time on the clock, as a defense, stop us. Because we're not stopping ourselves. We're going to continue being aggressive. We're going to continue. Another interception. This guy just can't find his own players. Got some room to run. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. And they were most fortunate to catch up to him there. He almost turned that into a pick six. Man, and he had a convoy, too. As soon as he had the ball, he just looked around him. There was just a lot of open grain, and he took off. Great job by his teammates on defense getting downfield. Looking for the end zone. And he makes the grab, but can't get the foot down in the field of play. Almost had six there. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. Throws toward the end zone. And he'll sail it way too far for everybody. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense. Guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync, and that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right there. Like the and they explode on that one, and they've got it down to the 22. Oh, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm. What better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. And the Buffaloes will snap it on first and 10. Used to play fake, now to throw. Steps to his left, out of the pocket. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Second and ten after the previous play. And this is just one of those days, man, where everything has gone wrong, right? Like, they just haven't been in a rhythm. They haven't... Going for it all. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Really nice focus by this sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. His number one objective for a defense is to make the offense one-dimensional. Well, when they're trailing by this much late in the game, they're one-dimensional. They have to pass the football. We can bring more speed on the field. You see it. We know you're throwing the football. Nice break on the football. Nice interception. This one's almost over. And it's incomplete. They were looking for the huge gain on first down. And that's a good stop for this defense. And listen, there hasn't been a lot of positive today, but like, let's finish this game strong. I think that'll be the message from the defensive coordinator. Can we get a stop? Can, can we get them off the field? I know a lot's went wrong, but like, let's live in this moment and try to be great right here to end the game. Unloads to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he gets it up to the 36. It'll be a first down. A big game there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. And the defense is still fighting. They, they haven't had the day that they dreamed of. You know, talking to the coaches coming to the game, like they thought they had a good plan. They'd be ready to attack and, and, and limit some of the damage this offense has done. They haven't done it today, though. They got to go back to the drawing board, figure some things out, because this wasn't a great day. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. That pickup might be best measured in inches rather than yards. Not a lot of running room there. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, David. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just It makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get it out of the spot. He steps out of bounds, but it will be enough for a first down. Well, offensive coordinators put in countless hours every week trying to formate these different personnel groupings and shifts and motions to give their offense a success on third down. And that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. And you want to still be aggressive. A lot of times aggressiveness is what gets you a lead. But at the same time, man, we got to take care of the football. We can't make dumb mistakes. Time and time again, you still are winning. I don't know if you 
Quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Still on his feet at the 45. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. Well, these quarterbacks nowadays can run so fast. Think about who you've got chasing him. Defensive linemen, those big old defensive tackles, defensive ends, linebackers. They can't catch him because they're unleashes one deep. The pass ball's incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense, they've been so good, man. Dialed in, you could tell. A shot toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. You've got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense. Fires deep toward the end zone. And the pass goes incomplete, looking to make things look a little tighter on the scoreboard, but that's going to do it. Just complete and utter dominance in this one. Outplayed their opponent and took care of business. Yeah, total domination in all three phases of the game. Offense, defense, and special teams. This team came ready to play, and man, it was pedal to the metal right from the opening kick. And that's how you like it. Forget the close games, forget the heartbreakers, the, oh, this play could decide, just frying pan meat face, ball game over. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.